hello everybody we were talking about morphology in flowering plants and in this video we are going to discuss about the forms of stem so we can see that stem can be either aerial okay or it can be underground now aerial stem can be classified into three types reduced weak and erect and underground stem can be classified into five types suckers rhizome form bulbs and stem tubers and again in the aerial stem weak aerial stem can be classified into two types that is the upright weak aerial stem and the prostate weak aerial stem and the upright can be classified again into two types the twiners and the climbers and the prostate weak aerial stem can be classified into four types there is the trailers runners stolons and the offsets then the twiners can be classified into two types the dextrose type and the sinistrose sinistrose type and the climbers can be again classified into three types that is the root climbers tendril climbers and the scramblers all right and then the trailers can be classified into two types that is the procumbent and the decumbent so it is quite a lot of classification but if we study on on the basis of logic then it will not be hard for us to remember all these and what are they what are their meaning so let's get started so i don't want to remove this chart from here so let us uh, understand it in a different window so we will start with the aerial stem as you all know aerial stem it is the stem which grows above the ground apart from which is different from underground stem which is present below the ground and the aerial stem can be classified on, uh, into three types which is the reduced weak and the erect stem let us understand these three terms first all right so what is the reduced stem so reduced stem is basically if there is a let's say there is ground then you will find the plants which have reduced stem generally they have a modified root okay like if we give the example it can be carrot radish or beet okay then they have a, fle a fleshy tap root modification generally i am telling most of the time so you can remember easily by that and you will find that the stem you you will not able to see the stem if you see the plant you will just find some bunch of leaves which have developed directly from the ground without having a stem and this is a plant this can be anything and this is an example of the reduced stem why we call it a reduced stem because you cannot see the stem but is the stem really not there let us see if we closely observe this area then we will find that it really does contain a small circular disk like stem on which the leaves are growing okay so these leaves are growing on this stem and this stem has only got the or let's say this stem has only got the modified root so you can if you see clearly then you can see this part this circular disk like shaped structure is actually the reduced stem so that was about the reduced stem then what is the erect stem let us see it is very easy easier than you might have imagined if this is the ground okay let us remove this if this is the ground okay and the next stem is which can stay erect we we can distinguish it clearly it is woody it is hard and it can it has branches and all and it has a bunch of leaves the the trees we normally see are all the woody stem and the we studied the class uh, types of branching in the previous video they were all based on this woody stem okay so that was woody stem we talked about reduced stem 
this is the woody stem hard woody stem and we call it the erect stem as it can help the plant to stay erect so it is erect oh, sorry erect erect stem now let us talk about the third category of the stem that is the weak stem okay now let us talk about the weak stem mm, let me draw another ground over here i don't think i will get the space there we remove those line if this is the ground the weak stem will be visible to us but it will be not it will not be able to help the plant in staying erect so what will happen in the absence of any support this weak stem will actually fall down and lay on the ground in the absence of any support and it will obviously contain the leaves that is all right but the problem is that the weak stem cannot help the plant to stay upright that is the problem with the weak stem so now as you can see in the organization chart i have made earlier is that the weak stem can be classified further into upright and prostate weak stem so let us study these terms and also the further classifications now okay so getting back to our what is the upright weak stem the weak stem which can stay upright so i just defined weak stems as it cannot help the plant to stay erect then how can a weak stem be upright that is weak stem can be called upright if we sub give a support we add a support like this is a support like a wooden stick right this is a support okay and then we grow the upright weak stem plant then it will be some it will coil or do something take help of the support and then it can stay upright so that the after all it can stay upright even now even after we are giving the support but still it can stay upright that's why we call it a upright weak stem so it will contain the leaves as usual to make my diagram a little bit more complete i am giving these leaves okay maybe there are leaves okay like this it is called the okay let me write down there okay it what is it called it is called upright upright weak stem all right i hope you have got the general idea now if you see in the organization chart it can be upright and also it can be prostate the word prostate comes from the word strata which means the ground so unlike from the upright weak stem even if we give a support like a wooden stick to this prostate weak stem it will never be able to take help of the support and go up grow upright okay even if we provide the support and grow the plant over here let's say the plant is growing over here it will never be able to take the help of the support and it will just spread around in the soil in random directions or in all directions so okay so this type of plant which cannot grow upright even if we provide the support is called a prostate plant okay and do i have a leaf here let's see this is a prostate plant now what are the further classification of these plants let me write down here it's a prostate plant prostate okay now let's look at the further classification now you can see the upright plant can be twiners or climbers so let's see what is twiner what is climber okay 
so for that let me remove this part out okay let me remove this part out from my from my screen to get the space if you see this upright pick stem it can be classified into twiners and climbers so let's study them twiner is uh, first of all if it is an upright pick stem then it can if you provide it a support like a wooden stick or anything then it can take help of the support and grow upright now the difference lies between the way they grow upright some will grow upright like this coiling around the stem like this okay some will grow upright like this and some will grow upright like this okay and they will produce some structures from there to grasp against the support okay these structures can be anything and based on what these structures are we can further classify them so which one is the twiner and which one is the climber this one which coils around the support is called the twiner twiner okay and where it is here this one is as you have guessed called the climber climber as uh, you can see that both can grow upright if you give them a support but the difference lies in how they use the support to grow upright some will coil and some will grow grow by developing special structures so that was the difference now let us study the different classification of the twiner again so what are the different classification the twiner can be classified into dextrose and sinistrose now this is a point to understand okay what is dextrose and sinistrose let me clear this stuff out okay let me clear this out let me clear this and let me complete my graph again we are giving a support to it okay now the dextrose is if it coils around clockwise and the sinistrose is if the twiner coils around anti clockwise so that there lies the difference so if i draw a dextrose type of so it should coil around clockwise so it should go like if it is behind i am drawing a dotted line okay it should go like let me try my best attempt to draw it, it should go somewhat like hope you get the general idea it should go like this okay then it should rise up and you can see if you compare it to a clock here the numbers will be written in the clock and it is the clock hand it will rotate in this direction okay so that's why it is dextrose it is rotating in the direction in which the clock is rotating but the sinistrose is the opposite it will rotate in the opposite direction of the clock so it will go around this and it will let's say start from behind and then go around and start from behind like that so hope i can give you some general idea about how it will look and let me finish it off like that it will go around like this so you can see that the rotation if you visualize it in 3d you will see that the rotation is anti clockwise the rotation is like this and here which is anti clockwise and here the rotation is like this which is clockwise therefore we can say that if it is a clockwise we call it a uh, dextrose dextrose and if it is a uh, anti clockwise we call it this one 
okay we call it a sin stroke type of sin stroke type of weak strand now we have classified up till the end of the twiners now let us classify further the climbers too so how can we classify the climbers let us again clear some stuff out of the way to generate some more space okay so let me clear like this this one let me clear so we'll get its space now if you see the organization chart you will find that climbers can be classified into three types and as i have hinted you some minutes before that this classification is based on what the structures are produced by the climbers so if this is a support is a weak stem so it must have a support and the climber will grow along the support like this okay if it generates some stem okay some stem modification if a stem gets modified into some structure we will talk what this structure is and it helps the uh, plant to hold on to this support then it is called a uh, stem okay let's see what it is called it is called a uh, tendril okay the structure is called a tendril and it's called the tendril climbers all right so if this gets modified uh, uh, a stem gets modified to form a structure to hang on to this support we call that structure a tendril and that plant is called a tendril climber okay so let us write it down tendril okay now let us look at the another x another type of classification if the support is like this sometimes plants will produce something else to cling to the support that is they will produce adventitious roots over here okay and these roots will help the plant to cling to the support they are known as the clinging roots okay if you look at the adventitious root videos i think i have covered it as the modification maybe or if i have not then you know another thing another new piece of information another new piece of modification in the adventitious root that is the clinging clinging adventitious species root so they help in for the climber to grow up now the last type of the last type of classification i have written there is the scramblers so let us see what do we mean by the scramblers the scramblers is basically if there is a support then it will use neither the stem modification that is tendril or nor the clinging adventitious root to attach to the support it will use let's see what it will use maybe thorns to pierce this support and get attached to it so uh, thorns can have many function we conclude from this thorns help to protect a plant from predators thorns also help to prevent water loss and thorns as you have seen in this part in this video also helps a plant a climber more specifically to attach to a support so that we have talked about all these classifications now in the next video we will talk about the prostate root classification that are the trailers runners stolons and offset offsets and we will also talk about the underground root classification thank you and if you like this video please give a like down the video and please comment and subscribe thank you